Mark chapter 11 and verse 22, Jesus said, embrace this God life, really embrace it, then nothing will be too difficult for you. Things become difficult because of our posture. We, we get static. We, we become a, a statue and we freeze and, and to move and the, the agility to be able to flex with things, we lose some of that and so life becomes a little bit difficult, but Jesus is saying that nothing will be too difficult for you. In fact, in Deuteronomy, the Lord says, if you keep this word, he said, this is not too difficult for you. It's not out of your reach. God's word is not up in the sky where you have to find someone to go and get it for you. It's not down in the depths below where you have to try and send a, a deep sea diver and a submarine down to the very depths to get it. It's not in some far off distant country. The word is right here. It's near you. Jesus says, it's within you. I put my words within you. It's not too difficult for you to perform. Proverbs 23 and verse 7, for as a person thinks in their heart, that's what type of person they are. It's talking about duplicity and how somebody can say, yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm with you. I'm with you. But really the heart is far from you. Because as a person really thinks in their heart, that's what type of person they are, not just what they say with their mouth. That's the context of that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Uh, Colossians 2 verse 6, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in Him. As you received Him, continue to live in Him. I talked a little bit about that at staff camp last week. As you received Him, remember the beginning, how you received Christ at the beginning? That's how we should keep living in Him. It's a posture. You think about the things you did at first as a Christian. Are they still evident? Because as you first began to walk with Him, you should continue to live in Him. How excited were you, were you at the beginning? How excited were you when you first realized your sins were no longer sending you to hell because of what Jesus has done? Are you still grateful? Are you still as excited? Are you more excited now than you were that day? Because you should understand more now than you did on that day. There's a posture in leadership. Not all leaders lead. 